Welcome back, Cookaholics. I hope you all had a very healthy and happy Memorial Day weekend. Uh, during that span of time, I ordered some stuff, and I got it in. So uh, stay tuned, and we're going to see what the FedEx man brought me. a special for I think it was like 15% off on uh, the hookup tackle now you know I just recently purchased a rod from hookup tackle they're, uh, they're out of Arizona and uh, I was gracious enough to catch that deal and uh, a lot of items are not on discount but there were a handful of brands that were still discounted and uh, one of them is a brand that I've had a great joy with in the past so I picked up another uh, two baits from him and uh, some other ones are things that are just JDMs that I like or one that I've never even tried before, but I figured I'd try the brand out because there is a little bit of here, uh, you know, say what it's like. So I want to see what it's, what the hype is about, you know? So they had this special <clears throat> for a uh, percentage off of certain items, uh, things like, um, I forget, but certain brands just were not uh, equated. So it was a handful of brands that actually were on discount and, uh, we're going to see what I ordered, because uh, for the life of me, I only remember one thing that I definitely ordered. So right off the bat, we got our little what's inside. Oh, yeah, okay. So we'll start at the top and work our way down, because on the bottom is the brand that I had one and lost it a long time ago, and I'm glad to have uh, had the opportunity to pick up some more on a discount. So uh, right now, right off the top, I went with this company. It's a JDM product called OSP. Um, I'm not really huge, super familiar with it, but I picked up their little craws. These are the OSP Doe Live Craws in 3-inch. I got myself the Green Pumpkin and Chartreuse back. And uh, this one, I forget, I think it was called, what was it called? Um, oh, Red Craw. Red Craw. So this was their Red Craw pattern. Now these are really sick little... Uh, Finesse uh, craws, tiny little three inch craws to go with my more small finesse uh, bait fishing, my small bag. I have plenty of craw trailers and craw analogs for my bigger fishing hooks and all, but uh, I just like these. They don't have a real strong pungent scent, pretty much just like plastic and oil, but they are very oily, I will say that. Um, so I figured I'd get these. Uh, they were on discount. 15% off, I believe, was the discount. Let's grab those. A company that I've never actually had, uh, and I definitely wanted to try. Also from Geekrack in Japan, these are their Bellow Gills. So if you do catch the Hookup Tackle's um, streams or their, their weekly, you know, what's new at Hookup Tackle, um, this is one of those brands and one of those baits that they've been pushing all spring, and uh, I thought I'd give it a try. I've got it in the Scuppernog Blue and the Haiki Watermelon Gill. So I'm going to say that this one is the Haiki... No, this is the Scuppernog. This one's the Haiki Watermelon Gill pattern. So it's like a blue gill. The cool thing about these... Two cool things. One cool thing is they smell like cereal. They, they smell like honey smack cereal. <laughs> All right, that's a very interesting smell. I wasn't expecting that. All right, they really do. They smell like, uh, like yeah. So the cool thing about these is they have this little flicker tail, so it's not a big V tail or whatever. They are a completely serrated kind of, uh, you know, gill color. Obviously, it's that blue gill, green, pumpkinish, a lot of blue flake in it color. Um, and then it's flat, well, so semi-flat. I mean, you've got a little bit of a, of a bulge, but it's very, very faint, not super pronounced. But uh, I think that smells just got me freaking <laughs> over the hill. I can't, I can't explain it, but it does. It smells like cereal. 
Doesn't smell like your typical plastic bait. It certainly doesn't smell like the coffee scent um, you get in the uh, in, in those. I that's odd. I, I'm always so accustomed to garlic, anise, and coffee that that uh, that's different. So these are a uh, like I said, these are a JDM product. All these are JDM products except for the last ones that I'm going to show you in a second. Um, I just I had to give these a try. The fact that they have so many independent ridges, and I've had other baits similar, just not the entire bait being this ridge style design. Um, I just I couldn't I couldn't beat it. I had to try it out. I want to see what kind of bubble trail they'll give off swimming these like I would any you know jerk fluke bait and see uh, how that works. And I might even throw these as a trailer to a jig head or to a, um, uh, maybe a spinner bait or something like that, uh, just to see what the action's like on those. And finally. The big ticket items. So these are normally, I think, like 60, 70 bucks. For them. You know, they were more when I got them back in the day, but I couldn't help myself. I got one in the sinking and one in the wake bait suspend or, um, or floating. But uh, I've got myself the Mike Bucas Resin Bull Shad and Bull Gill. So I got the Bull Shad, and this is in uh, the Gizzard Shad color, which is pretty pretty common. Um, it's basically just gray and white. And, uh, yeah, it's got that Mike Bucas painted, you know, bristle tail. I like that because it does emulate more like a natural fish fin rather than, uh, you know, what you get out of the hard rubber or plastic. So that's that. And then, and this is of course sinking. This is a what do they call it? This is the Gizzard Shad Bull... Oh, this is a Bull Shad Knocker. So this also actually has a knock in it. So that's added, added uh, way to call the fish in to this swim bait. Again, these are things that I'm going to be throwing on my larger, uh, my larger new reel. So there's that. And finally, this is this wake bait. This is a floater and it's silent. It's the Bull Gill and this one is... Obviously, in bluegill, six inches, just like the last one was a six inch. Uh, but this is a wake bait. Again, same bristle tail. And the cool thing about these, like I said, these are all poured, hand painted resin as opposed to what you get from uh, Mystery Tackle Box or Shop Carl's, which is the uh, Catch Co versions, which are an injected plastic. These are a resin, um, and they're all like hand finished, carved off, and painted and pinned together. And, uh, you know, this is, uh, again, I like to go back to these things that are like natural art forms. So I've got the nice floating job here. Definitely top water. This is going to be a monster. And uh, I'm thinking, uh, especially with that gizzard shad over there, uh, I am actually thinking about sending this or that out to have it custom painted. Um, so if you think, my, my appeal to you, if you think I should send this guy out, and have him custom painted. Um, you tell me what what pattern do you think I should go to over the standard just shad white? Um, you know, should I go with like a pumpkin seed, uh, rainbow trout? Um, uh, what kind of bluegill? What kind of uh, pattern do you think would be really cool? It, just a crackle, you know, a random crackle paint scheme. Um, you tell me. Lightning bolts, flames. I don't care. <laughs> Give me some suggestions. And uh, then I'll decide whether or not uh, I might just send that out during the uh, during the fall, uh, and uh, and maybe have it for for next season after I fish it a couple times during the summer, have it next season repainted and uh, and bring it back. But uh, as always, for me, you this was just a quick little video to show what I got from uh, from Hookup. Again, um, this was just a special during their Memorial Day sale. They do that because I think it's the anniversary. I think they were founded and established on Memorial Day, so it's their own personal like not just our Memorial Day for, uh, for us citizens, but it's also their anniversary for the founding of their, of their store. So, uh, if you like this, like, share, and subscribe. And as always, I appreciate all of you watching and tuning in and uh, tight lines, and I'll catch you all on the next cast. Peace, Ocala.